All right, we're back with another video and we're gonna start this video off with a Boehner and we're gonna go to Beverly Hills and all over Los Angeles and do some proper car spotting, looking for hypercars, supercars, and all sorts of weird stuff around there. But unfortunately, there's also some pretty bad news and that is basically every single car that I own, starting from the Prius, the S600, the Bolsuzuka car, the uh, C43, the Lamborghini Superleggera, so on and so forth, and of course the Sentry are all unfortunately down, broken, or crashed. So without further ado, we're hopping in good old reliable, the Model 3 Tesla right over here with almost 24,000 miles and very, very few issues, just minor, minor stuff. So that being said, Beverly Hills, here we come. Is that white or is that a off white? It's a cream, dude. It's a cream. Is that picking up on the camera, guys? Look at that, dude. It is popping with cars today. No plate on a cream 4GT. It's gotta be one of the more wild specs on the 4GT. It's got the blue on the hood and the wheels too. Barely see it. Cream color, dude. It's an off-white. That's amazing. And that man's outfit. Yes, sir. Also amazing. All right, so Showstack made a good point. It is an old Ford GT Heritage livery right there, so. That makes a lot of sense. Listen in the sunlight there, gentlemen. Oh my gosh. Wow, on the Washington plates? Dang, yellow calipers. Woo, we got mini sheep in frame. Checking it out. Resale Ronnie Red is out. Damn. Perfect day to have that car. Top down, cruising and perusing in Beverly Hills. There he is. All carbon, it's a carbon edition. 4GT on the organ plates here on Rodeo. This is the second one. He's trying to do the thing where he gives people samples and then ask them for money. Pretty good spec on the Panamera, but check out the plate. Goodbye, Payne. Check this out, Black Enzo at the Ferrari Service Center. Whoa. Mint green. Lamborghini Amira, dude. Check out the interior, too. Hold on a second, gentlemen. Oh, that's so nice. This hotel is notorious for not allowing DSLRs or camcorders, so we're on the cell phone. But man, check out the plate. Sublime. Antique Outlaw New Hampshire plates on the Porsche over here. 356 top down. Crazy. I'm assuming it's real because we've seen so many fake ones, but dang. It's funny how in the presence of the mirror. It just pales, it pales in a comparison. That's right. We're back with another lineup, a Sunday lineup of classic cars here. We've got the old school 560 SL in red, tan interior, looking mint, old school Rolls Royce drop head. Look at the interior, absolutely pristine. Very different flavors across very, the board here. Very different flavors. We've got the Ford Mustang in red. And then check this out. Now, obviously, I'm not a Porsche connoisseur by any means, but this looks to be a Bonafide 356 with a number on the side. Speedster. Is this real? Probably. Is this like some special variant? I don't know. Maybe it is. And then boom. Rally Monte Carlo. Whoa. Drop top cruiser. Classic, you know, classic put, race car vibes. Riding on the cloud. Riding on the cloud. No plates to, wow. Or you going old school. Everything. Yeah. A little bit of everything with the SL. Damn. Or just get the uh, Corvette in the back. <laughs> Got a Virgil Abloh, one of 150 Maybach just chilling over there. Let's take a closer look. Yes, sir. Yo. We are back here at West Marina Auto Body and CMS Motorsports. Behind me, we got some of the parts that have been taken off of the car. And of course, we got the hood that's been slightly straightened out just for cosmetic purposes and to see if it latches back up. But we do need a completely new hood for a 1980 Toyota Cresta. We're gonna have Sean here in just a second to explain exactly what is going on with all the bits and bobs here. Mr. Sean, can you explain to us what is going on over here? 
<laughs> yeah, so what's up, man? So we basically tore the car down. Yes, sir. And we itemized all the parts that need to be repaired versus replaced. Exactly. And luckily, most of the parts are salvageable. Uh, some of the plastic chrome has been hurt, but at least it's things that we can glue and get re-chromed gotcha. and, and repaired. Uh, the main part up front that's completely destroyed is the grill, which we're going to have to go ahead and probably build you some kind of a billet grill to mimic the original. Sure. And we're going to have to make the cutout for the lit emblem to make it complete. Um, as I mentioned previously, the good thing is it didn't hit the frame, so the front bumper is intact. But however, it did push the front radiator support back about almost four inches. I see that, yeah. So here you can see like the center support, the headlamp buckets, the radiator support is a section, it's the center, and then this is all part of the apron that's welded that. as part of the fender apron. Got it. Which we can repair. I'm gonna have to harness this on the frame machine okay. and pull this forward. It's gonna come forward about four, four and a half inches. I did seem to pull the factory measurements on this uh, from a database, so I do have the factory measurement. So this is a measurement point here. Okay. So we're gonna measure from here yep. to the shock tower, which is in the center here so when we tram it um, we're gonna have to tram it in an X form and we tram it to this point so it's gonna go from this shock tower to this bolt and right then here. from that shock tower to this bolt so it'll be completely center and square got it and um, the shroud is also broken the okay. parts are missing so you can still use this until we source another one sure but um, the cart will be running and driving and it will be functioning once i'm done with it perfect um, these parts my fabricator is going to pretty much hammer out if we need to remake some brackets and parts we will okay the biggest challenge is going to be the hood we right tried here. to kind of straighten it out i saw that yeah can. so as you can see when it shuts it is semi-flat which um, i fixed hoods that are much worse on cars that sure, are yeah. pretty much you know hoods are discontinued and nowhere to be found got it so we're gonna do our best to try to fix this until we source another one. If we can source another one, then it's the best way to go, obviously, but I can make this thing work beautifully. Oh, I appreciate the it. The chrome is a little yes, bent, sir. so my my uh, my metal guy said he can basically massage this out. It's got a couple of dents here, and then we're gonna repolish it and get everything lined up. So all in all, the car's gonna be back together. Perfect. Um, the front section, I'm not worried about. It's gonna be 100%, yep. just some of the parts when we do source them, we can always swap them out. Okay. But uh, you're gonna be rolling again, bro. Sweet, man. No yeah. frame damage, just some, None. you know, yeah, the hood, the totally some bits solid. and bobs over here. And before you know it, this thing will be back in action or sat in the garage for the next six months, but we'll see. <laughs> we'll yeah. definitely gotta take this car out more. But man, thank you so much, sure. Sean. Bruh. Now you guys thought we forgot about the W202 C43 AMG. Alas, she's still alive, needs a full paint correction. Unfortunately, this car too also have a few minor cosmetic and mechanical issues. The door latch over here, if you open up the door here, it doesn't fully close, and some asshole stole the Mercedes-Benz logo. Like, who still does that? That's like something like kids in the 90s and early 2000s did. And alas, it's gone. High pressure looks good. The paint obviously needs a bit of work. But overall, a few bit of trim pieces here and there. This car is so show stack here actually took out the car a few days ago. Yeah. And what happened? You ran over Just a, a gargantuan bolt in the middle of the road. Ran over it. On this tire right here. Yeah. We'll like throw up the photo of, yeah. of it right here. It was it was pretty massive, but they managed to patch this up real nice. So that being said. We're dropping this car off at uh, Brady's Mercedes. Whoa. This thing's pretty nippy. It just keeps trucking along. Oh yeah. As of right now, I only have two operable vehicles. The Tesla and of course the 2008 Lamborghini Superleggera. Now, Unfortunately, we have some potentially disastrous news with the Superleggera. And I noticed that the car was burning through a ton of oil. I sent the car to the shop. I do my annual service. I even had the 30,000 mile service done. Uh, had a new clutch put in. 
oil changes have been done regularly so we do keep the car in tip top shape i probably get like 150 to 200 miles per quart which is completely unacceptable so let's hop in turn the car on and see exactly what's going on i stumbled across a youtube channel by the name of the bull rider this man owns a 2008 Lamborghini Superleggera with over 115,000 miles. He does all the work himself. He's a mechanical engineer. He knows the ins and outs of the car and has been doing tutorials on fixing his 08 Superleggera. He gave me a diagnosis and said, Gordon, there are two potential problems and it could be both. Leaky valves and potential cylinder scoring. And none of them sound good. The cylinder scoring is probably a worst case scenario, which might require a full engine rebuild or a completely new engine. Let's turn the car on kind of see what's going on drive it just a little bit because someone on the road actually told me the car sounded like it was misfiring as well which i don't really think that's the case outlook not very good without further ado let's run it we're gonna let it warm up take for a quick drive see if there's any knocking on the engine seeing if there's like a misfiring cylinder as well Yo, nice and easy nothing too crazy here i think the sound is pretty decent i don't hear any knocking i don't feel any loss of power with like you know a misfiring cylinder <laughs> actually i don't know i'm not a mechanic but this is my initial assessment before we send this car back to rage and bull performance with frank and they're going to do a boroscope test and of course the compression test to see really what's going on do we have leaky valves is there you know mild or severe form of uh, cylinder scoring and uh, do we need to replace the engine or do we need to fix the engine so time will tell no misfiring cylinders at least to my limited knowledge so we might be looking at a very expensive repair with a guy or super leger if it is both of those issues so that being said hopefully I have an update for you guys very soon but uh, man we're in pretty bad shape guys L train knows absolutely no limits and no bounds we got the prius down with the bad battery cells we got the century down because of the air suspension the s600 is down because of the air suspension and of course the bose zoka car is down due to a minor accident that happened a few weeks ago so man i'm just i don't even want to drive the car until i get this thing looked at we need a boroscope and a compression test to really see what's going on just when you thought the crow fat was over yes sir the ceo on the plate gold chrome baby yes giving off some proper 2012 2013 vibes arab style baby <laughs> you gotta love it you gotta respect it you gotta respect it this one looks pretty nice i like it i like this one yeah the blue is stunning though you guys can't see it oh there you go yeah what a classy spec on a chiron it's really hard to come by these days man Blue, looking. Mm. Oh. <laughs> yeah. 